I really just want to kind of make this a community where people can come, hang out, have fun, like only positive vibes, no negative energy. This is something that is entertaining for all to watch and maybe just make playing video games fun for more people. Thank you so much for being here, man. I'm freaking out. 184? Oh. Oh. Yes, do a wheel. 4 or 99 I saw someone say dump truck wig. Chat, I am not a piece of meat that you could stare at. Nice way, one of the newest members of 100 I am a controller professional player on PC for analogic gaming. I gotta wake up my mom! Being around a guy like Nicewig is just so energizing. One of the kindest, most empathetic, and fun people that you will meet. I'm talking about Nicewig. No dead! Almost dead! Almost dead! Nicewig, he's a goat. I've always been looking up to him. You guys were seeing something in me. You guys see something in me that I never was able to see throughout my whole life. Bought it out and gave me the confidence to see it. 1997, Jack Martin was born in upstate New York. Like most other kids raised in the early 2000s, Jack played countless hours of video games, especially Call of Duty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the world's fastest tactical nuke and... But we'll come back to this. Throughout his teens and early 20s, Jack dealt with varying mental I was health issues. 360 pounds. I was like severely overweight, uh, severely depressed. Uh, I was going through like a lot of mental stuff. A big reason was I didn't know my purpose in life. He never went away to college and instead decided to stay home and attend community college. But after two years, Jack realized school wasn't like for him. Like two years passed in like community college. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I was like, I hate this. Dropped out of like three other colleges I was committing to. And I started to uh, kind of find myself in personal training. Since his parents were bodybuilders, he took up weight training and lost 160 pounds in 18 months. He finally decided to move out of his parents' house to Brooklyn and become a fitness trainer at Equinox. Gym, but he still wasn't happy and he had this nagging feeling inside. The big reason was I didn't know my purpose in life. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Like, how does he do Jack looked up to several streamers, was involved in their communities, and wanted to start streaming himself. I, I had like Two hundred dollars in my bank account. So I call my mom. I was like, I'm quitting this. I'm quitting my job. I hate my boss. Like, I'm gonna put like some of this money on rent. I'm gonna put some of this money towards like canned beans. I was eating like canned beans. He financed a PC, made his Twitch channel nice wig, and went all in on himself. At the same time that Wig started streaming, Apex Legends, developed by Respawn, the team responsible for Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, had released. As a longtime competitive Call of Duty player, Wig became infatuated by the game. No. Oh, nice hit. The, the fuck off me, baby, let's go! I started streaming full time. Let's go! So I'd stream like seven hours, eight hours a day, then turn into like 12. Oh! Oh! oh. Nice week was different than most players though. He was using controller on PC. At the time in Apex, this was seen as a major disadvantage. Yet, Wig was still putting up consistent high kill and high damage games. Let's go! Let's go! World. This helped him grow his stream to a few hundred followers, but time was running out. After doing daily streams for two months straight, Jack never averaged more than 10 viewers per stream. Running out of money meant that the pressure was on. My mom, when I quit my job and went full-time streaming, she was there. She was like, this doesn't work out in two months. You need to get a job. And then one week before he was about to quit streaming, Nicewig caught his big break. Would it be possible? I'm playing with Dizzy. I'm playing with Dizzy. I'm playing with Dizzy. What the fuck? I'm the number one controller player on PC. Much love, guys. What is going the fuck on, bro? Nice. What's up, baby? We're here. Knock, knock. Yeah. Open the door. Nice. Look at that, bro. Baby, gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, listen. He's streaming, right? We're going to host him, all right? Is if you have a Twitch Prime sub right now available, use it on him, not me. Show him love and support. He's a nice guy. He's actually using a controller, which is crazy. And we just randomly met in a game, and yeah, and took on from there. I want to disable it just so Chad doesn't keep hearing it, but I never get followed. Tank! Whoa! What? 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 No! No way! He just hosted me, bro. I'm dreaming. Someone wake me up. Someone wake me up. I've been. That's all I want, man. That's all I really wanted to do a stream, dude. What's going on, bro? Thank you so much, Dizzy. This is actually the craziest moment of my life. I just want to reach out to like thousands of people a day, bro, and help some people and have fun, dude. I don't deserve this, man.
What the hell, dude? When most streamers get a big raid, they tend to struggle to hold on to those viewers. But with Nicewig's skill on controller, and more importantly, his infectious, positive personality. Oh! I did it! I did it! Yeah, much love, Iman. Love you, buddy. I'm not hitting it! I'm not hitting it! Yo, Wig, you should get a mullet. Definitely shouldn't. Much love. Hey, let's go, baby, GG! But I've had, been playing solos, and I've had the worst time. For In the last two days, I've, I've had a tough, like, mental tough two days, you know? But your name and your attitude actually make me really happy right now, dude. So I just want to say thank you, man. I love you, dude. Like, it's really, really fun. Yeah, no, I love you too, bro. He immediately began to average 1,000 viewers per stream. 500 viewers, 600 viewers, 700 viewers, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And that's when his next big opportunity arose. I am a controller professional player on PC for Analogic Gaming. I was the first controller player ever signed to a tier one organization. Wig signed to CLG and got the chance to compete professionally, starting with the weekly Face It Pro series let's go let's go way to play boys so well let's go let's fucking go competing helped wig start receiving more recognition from other streamers in the no, apex community i gotta wake up my mom i gotta wake up my mom Twenty thousand people where it comes to guys 18 fucking thousand of them 18 <laughs> Thank you, Shroud. Shroud, thank you so fucking much. I didn't even think you knew I existed, bro. Oh my god. And as a tier one org, Wig and his teammates, Noko and I Madness, were getting invited to several Apex events, including the first two Apex lands. They play 17th out of 20 at X Games. And after clutching the loser's bracket, 16th out of 80 in Poland. In seventh place, third in monsoon and nice wig, two popular streamers and competitive. Pro Despite the low placements, everything in Wig's career was looking upwards. <laughs> <laughs> nice wig, Hamlet. Don't talk. Dude, first. <laughs> All right, and for that reason, bro, I don't know why I was so funny, and it still is to me. That right there, nice wig, Hamlet, a fucking uproar in my friends' conversations, bro. And then right there, I made my name. I was like, bro, what should I make? And they were like, nice week. And I was like, bro. But after another 13th out of 20 finish in the GLLNA series, it was at this point where Nicewig would face his first bit of adversity as a pro player and as a streamer. That means when you're signing your pro player, you're getting paid to play the game. And we cannot be placing 14th out of 20 teams in a, with also free agents. We are no longer Team Blue Madison Noko. That is the announcement. Noko Madison, bro, when we hung out, I've never had so much fun. Like, me and Noko Madison are like brothers, but we could not play. We, something was missing chemistry-wise that we couldn't get past. Over the next few months, we would scrim with several different teammates, but had troubles finding a consistent roster. This caused him to miss out on most of the ALGS online tournaments, and it began to further affect Nicewig's mental. Chat started getting a little wild, right? You know, okay, I play competitive as well, you know, but like, I'm a streamer. It's been super hard for me to stream. My, my mind, dude, when I tell you I've like, I've hit rock bottom, like, never been to that point again with like depression. Now, although his competitive career was struggling, his stream continued to be a positive outlet for the community. Wig was building a strong community based off the values of friendship and love. It's not the best birthday of my life. Honestly, thank you guys. I love you so much. Just see all these people that just care about me, man. That's all I ever wanted. But to inspire people. <laughs> thank you guys for seeing something in me. You guys see something in me that I never was able to see throughout my whole life. And you finally brought it out and gave me the confidence to see it. I love y'all so much. Thank you. He had a good support system around him, especially his mom, Donna, who makes consistent appearances on his stream. And you can see in chat every single day. And there ain't no one, no one taking my eyes off that screen, baby. That's it. Except for my mom. I'm gonna call her back. What's up, mom? Are you watching me right now? Yeah. You see that fucking dub, baby? I already know how much I love him. And he brings so much joy to my life. How cute he is, isn't okay. he cute? Okay. Get the fuck off of me! You know what I'm saying, Ma? Let's go, Ma! Let's go! Who's fucking around? Yeah, who the fuck is fucking yeah, around with us? Let's go! Talk to him, Ma! Sit <laughs> Yeah, who's fucking around? Yeah! You tell him what's good. I, I shit something? on him. I shit on him. Wait, did somebody do No, they did nothing. I just shit on him. It's okay, don't look the motherly on me. I'm good. We shit on him, Ma. We shit on him, we. Yeah, yeah, we shit. That's it. Yeah, Hi, there you go. everybody. That's what I'm fucking talking that's about. That's it. We gotta fuck these people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what it is. With this support and his tenacity to not give up on competing, his persistence was about to pay off. Now's an easier. I'm coming, I'm coming. Crack another one. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. I'm fucking go. Well, I'm coming. 
One shot to both her! She both are dead! I need to heal! I need to heal! Can we zip top? Can we zip top? I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, wait, wait, go, wait, go, wait, go! No, 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 I'm fine! We can go, we can go! Go, 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 go! Don't get aggressive! No, there's the zips! Get zips! I almost cracked one! I almost cracked one! The last one! Last one! Dead! Dead! You gotta push through, you gotta push through, one down! Dead, all dead! All dead! Behind us, behind us, behind us! Jump up through one, jump up through one! Crash! Dead! I'm zipping it, I'm zipping it! I'm here! Push it through, push it through! Armor swap! Armor swap! Unshot! I'm here, I'm here, you're good! Team, Let's team, go! Armor swap, armor swap, right here! Above right you! Here, that That's all you, I have no armor! Kill his ass, dude! Let's go! Yep. The fuck off us! I'm fucking talking about! Let's fucking go, babe! Champions. Holy shit, there's a crack! Raid on me, raid on me! I'm coming, I'm coming! Run, 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 on you! Dead, dead! We got portal on! I cracked two! I cracked another one! Dead! No dead! One, one! One, other one, one shot, two! Get the fuck off us. Fuck. Fuck, man. That's DSM. It is? One? Okay, okay. We're 10 plays. We got one point. They only have two kills? They only have two kills right now. So that means they're still 21 behind. Al's gonna have to YOLO it, dude! What happened? He won't go He's not gonna make it either, bro! They're both gonna fucking die! There's no way they live! Just run the fuck up! Did we win? Oh, Did we win? We won! We won! We won! Oh my god. We did it. Oh. Oh my god, we did it. I have it. a lot to say. I have a lot to say. Guys. It's going my baby! I love you. Let's go, boys! Oh! We do! Chad! We were the kill leader! We fucking got the top kills! Let's go! There's just no way. There's no way I'm about to make a tweet that we just won, bro. I think people get how much this means to me, bro. I have I am a person who I always doubts my self-worth, my skill, and everything I do, dude. And this is the best feeling. I will never forget this fucking feeling my whole life, man. I know way back when, dude, when I first started, bro, I put control best control player on PC. I think that rubbed a lot, of wrong, a, lot, a lot of people the wrong way, man. The only way I'm able to do this, man, is if I keep believing in myself. And that was like a form of me believing. So I don't want, if any of it ever rubbed any of you guys the wrong way, bro. Anyone new here, you didn't give my stream a chance. You didn't give me a chance, man. I, I hope I didn't rub you the wrong way, and I apologize if I did. Because I just want confidence in myself, and I finally just got it today. And it's been fucking months, bro. Ever since I started, bro, to have confidence. The LGS Summer Circuit 1 had the most teams in an Apex tournament competing since the Poland LAN a year prior. It was also the first time that North American teams would play against South American teams since all tournaments went online. So it was a huge accomplishment for this to be WIG's first major tournament win. Now, unfortunately for the rest of the year, the Yeet Squad wasn't able to recreate that success and Bowser decided to pursue other teams. But that win was enough validation that it allowed Nicewick to focus on content creation and growing his brand. Why are they so low? They're almost all the way down to the gonads of this thing, dude. Top three, we got it. The goat. They're the goat. I love you guys. And this is when Wig got his first taste of being a partnered caster for the year one ALGS NA Championship. Been more towards Skyhook zones, right? Like been, they've been trial, Skyhook, survey, they refinery. No and it makes no cool. sense for me at all for them to switch it up this 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 late when everything's working for them. Going into year two, Wig's return to Comp Apex would be so exciting. Yeah, focus them, focus them, focus them. Nice! Let's f***ing go. Nice! Let's go. Good job. That is Team Sheesh. Wig teamed up with a Prizzy and it's Timmy. Three of the biggest Apex creators. This team was made for pure content. In their first tournament together, the GLL Masters Spring, they placed fifth. 
Yes, indeed, Sheesh looking so strong. Which, in, in major tournaments, was actually one of Wig's highest placements. But none of this was as big for Jack as what was about to happen for him next. On June 23rd, 2021, Courage, the popular YouTube streamer and co-owner of 100 Thieves, put out this tweet. And Wig decided to shoot his shot. Courage said, let's do it. I freaked out. I started fanboying left and right. The two, alongside Tanner Slays, started grinding rank together daily, helping Courage relearn the game and hit Predator for the first time. He's looking for blood here. He comes in clutch, and he is the champion! The war cry is coming out from Curry! Oh my god, I'm the ultra option. I'm not with you. Oh, coming. No! Get off me, baby! I'm gonna fucking piss test this guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what's more impressive. The fact that you like just did that or the fact that Tanner can understand you and you're going, I got the shot, 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 I Nice! Last one, Jack. Last one inside. You can use, I'm trying to give you cover. Let's go! Hey! Self-res on Octane! Uh, Octane. Octane has the self. I'm not, I'm not trying to make it all about me, but I'm kind of fucking gassed up on how I just played <laughs> that right here. That was like one of the best plays I've had yet. This so. was extremely influential on the Apex community, as the content they were making and just the pure fun got many of the largest streamers, including Tifu, Loxy, Tim the Tatman, and especially Nick Merckx, to start playing Apex again. With all his effort, Wig's stream was growing even faster, and some days was pulling in 10,000 viewers organically. And as his relationship built with Courage and other members of 100 Thieves, it was only a matter of time until something Wig had been working towards for two years would finally come true. What's up guys, my name's Jack, also known as Nicewig, and I'm the newest member of 100 Thieves. I'm already like about to cry just thinking about all this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> sitting to my left side, AKA your right is Nicewig, one of the newest members of 100 Thieves. Hi Jack, Mama Wig here. Hi honey, hi. You did it, you did it. Congratulations on signing with a hundred thieves. We're all so proud of you. Papa Wig, Nana Wig, Luke, and myself, we just are absolutely thrilled for you. You're the most hardworking young man that I know. All the sacrifices that you made, but you knew in order to get onto a hundred thieves, your goal, your dream, you had to work and you did it. Kind-hearted young man that I know. Um, I'm just so, excited that you got onto 100 Thieves. I can't even believe it. So I want to thank 100 Thieves for asking me to do this and to give you, to give me the opportunity to do this. I love you, Jack. And one, one more thing before you go. Always remember, this is what, it all started with this in Brooklyn, New York. Don't ever forget. It all started with nice wig, right? Okay, I love you. I wish I could hug you, but I can't. But that's why I thank 100 Thieves for giving me this opportunity to speak to you like this. I love you all. I love you. In the upcoming year two pro league, Team Sheesh locked themselves a spot in the 40 teams by competing in the preseason qualifiers. However, Pro League didn't turn out as smoothly as the group had hoped. At the time, Nicewig was also dealing with some personal family matters and needed to take a break from Pro League and streaming. Without Wig, Timmy also decided to focus on other streaming responsibilities outside of Pro League. I, I don't know if I'm going to continue Pro League or not. He's like fucking doing some uh, Twitch travel shit. I, I DM them. A prize answered me and he was like, I, I don't give a fuck, bro. It's up to you. I don't give a shit. But I'm going to wait for Timmy and see what he says, but I'm going to be real, bro. I don't really want to play Pro League that much anymore. Since the official ruling stated that two main roster players must compete in every single week, Team Sheesh was forced to disband and be disqualified from Pro League. This sparked a lot of controversy in the Apex scene. As the second team to disband, other pro players felt he was ruining the competitive integrity of Pro League. Wig insisted that he would not have stepped down if it wasn't for good reason. The bigger issue arose when it was announced that the Split One LAN would be moved to a regional online tournament due to the pandemic. Now, 20 teams could qualify for playoffs instead of 10 to compete for $250,000. Wig wasn't happy with the situation because Sheesh was in top 20 before being disbanded, and players from other disqualified teams were allowed to join new squads and compete. He took to Twitter to express his disdain with the double standard while other players started to call him out. But let's cut the drama. That's not what we're here for. This situation really doesn't have a who's right and who's wrong. Both Wig and the ALGS staff are receiving unreasonable amounts of hate. So Wig issued an apology for his reaction. And while this wasn't one of Nicewig's best moments, you can see that it's one where he was able to grow from the most.
In 2022, Wiggs shifted his content once again. Not competing in Pro League anymore, Wiggs started to host watch parties. While this is something he had done in the past, he began to do it on a more consistent basis. The combination of his loud, exciting personality and being able to provide the analytical insight of a day one pro, fans started to flock in. Play me, play me! A GSM still alive somehow! Snipe down going down, Rep survive, they get the top three! As scissors with more kill on a concurrent off, that's still alive, and they get the win! Oh my god! The ALGS split two playoffs was set to be the first LAN in three years, hosted in Stockholm, Sweden. With 40 teams attending and three days worth of Apex, Respawn needed a host for its- B stream straight from Stockholm. This is not a green screen. First team, can he do it? The armor stop coming out from Skittles, and it's gonna be one of- Oh, oh my god. god! Skittles with an absolute oh insane- 1v2! So Chad, if you don't know this yet, man, we're actually live from Stockholm. This is not a green screen. I believe that energy rock at S3 is still alive right now. He's getting looked at by at least 13 different players. This is not a green screen. We are here live. He just needs to wait for the 3v3 to commence. And, and they start to move forward. The and they, get and they the clean it up in the point. Epitome of health. Dude, you look like shit. Oh my god, you're sweating. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. It's your choice, dude. Look at my pits. Oh my god, no stains! There's a huge stain. What do you mean, no stain? Oh my god, it's gigantic. Never mind. What? This is not a green screen. Like, we are live from The Stop. feedback of his B stream was impeccable. Fans were loving the banter between Wig and his best friend Greek. Apex was booming. The excitement of the return to land had the entire community buzzing. And on day one, Nicewig's stream reached a peak of 70,000 viewers. At this point, Wig was able to pay forward the favor that Dizzy and Shroud had gifted him three years prior, as he raided a small streamer by the name of Fadeless with oh 70,000 plus people. And today, that streamer, Fadeless, has been able to hit partner on Twitch thanks to the generosity of Nicewick. In the Year 2 Championship, the duo ran it back once again as the B My stream only concern casters. here is, man, you have, one, you have one job if you are a fan here at the event. Do not show Sack. 140 out of Mandy! Get him, Mandy! Get him, Mandy! And they get knocked! They get... Oh! Stars! Mandy! With some... Oh! Oh! Call the fucking ambulance! But not for Scars! Call oh the ambulance for God, singularity! Bro. Mandy with some great shots! Oh. She will suck toes for a Twitter follow. That's all she wants. Just taking it time. slow. Very calm, cool, collected, smart play. Yes, sir. They get, they the, get the crack and then they're going to go in. And here we go, man. Fennel! Fennel as a duo. Fennel as a fucking duo making AOGS history. Right, I'll give the follow, but I'm not getting my toes sucked. That on. is totally fine, Greek. That is your personal preference. Christian, if you're watching this, you know I love that shit. Love you, babe. Yeah, yeah, a car chase going down. Some Grand Theft Auto. They are just chasing each other with a car right now. And a PK is whipping shots. What is Whoa. happening? <laughs> what is going on? Is this real? He gets back in the car. Oh, my, I mean, look at that. Wanna lick it? Dude, don't look at that, bro. You've eaten worse. And moving into the year three ALGS, instead of trying to compete again, Wig up the scale of his watch parties. He was the official host of the Oversight Pro League and hosted his own ALGS watch parties for every single region. It has been instrumental in helping grow the smaller regions in Apex Competitive and giving a platform to the lesser known players. <laughs> That was some last airbender shit. What the hell was that? One of my biggest goals for Apex watch parties this year, man, I could really give a fuck about the numbers. Obviously, like the numbers and stuff have been great for me, dude, was to really bring the community together. I wanted to showcase talent from all over the world. NA is great, but there's a lot of other amazing regions around the world, bro, with a lot of amazing players that deserve love like NA does. I, I gotta say, for the first time in my life, bro, I set a goal streaming wise that was not really number and I think I achieved it, man. And I'm really happy that uh, you guys are here to also find all these amazing players from other regions. There is so much talent within Apex. There's so much personality. I'm so happy that so many of you have now found like new favorite players. Guys now are introduced to the women's scene, introduced to community tournaments. Like, I think that's what it's really all about, bro. There's a lot, man. I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, mean this, bro. Like, you guys might think I'm faking this and I've been hearing it my whole career, bro, but I, I really do appreciate y'all bro and everything i do comes from my soul and my heart and i i put everything i have into what i love and i want to say thank you guys dude it was right? expected that once again wig and greek would be back for the year three lands alongside greek they have now started their podcast the wide swing 
to get more in-depth conversations between pro players and more insight on everything competitive Apex for the fans. After four years, what this current peak in Nicewig's career shows is that any normal kid, whether you didn't go to college, whether you struggle with mental health, if you have a dream and you bet on yourself, you spread values of positivity, love, friendship, family. I cannot believe what is going on. It doesn't seem real. And it's just crazy to me, man. It's just- Big Nation, I love you! Best community on Twitch! I've been saying it! I love you guys very much. Thanks for being fantastic, amazing individuals. You guys are seriously phenomenal. I really do appreciate every single one of you, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for seeing something in me. You guys see something in me that I never was able to see throughout my whole life. I can't fucking make the world a better place, but I can make, you know, someone's day better one one step at a time. So I want to keep doing that on a larger scale. Then more that you could even imagine is possible. It really does mean the world to me, man. It really does, dude. Like, this can make me cry. Make sure you keep moving forward. Make sure you believe in yourself like I believe in you. Always push through. You got this. Bad days happen. Keep moving forward, all right? Guaranteed everything will get better. Love y'all, man. Peace. Deuces. Fuck.